Happy Book Talk Tuesday. I have noticed that a lot of our students this year, especially our new fifth graders, are super excited about our graphic novel section. We have an amazing graphic novel section. Uh, we've been really working hard on improving that and I love it. I love graphic novels. But I will tell you, uh, you're going to have to start branching out a little bit this year. If you have been stuck in graphic novels in elementary school, uh, we have some great graphic novels, but you need to branch out a little bit. Uh, when you are taking all these fun tests that we have to take, um, you know, for the rest of our lives, you have to have more stamina in your reading. And I know that sometimes doesn't sound fun, but you have to build up. You have to build up to that. So here's a solution. We have a whole bunch of books that I call illustrated novels. They are in the chapter book section of our library. And they are chapter books, but they have illustrations throughout the chapter book. So it's not as many pictures as a graphic novel, which does take a lot of thinking to read through those because uh, the pictures and the words always go together, right? But now we have more options for you. So when you are branching out, if you want to not jump right into big, long, giant chapter books, I'm not a big fan of long, giant chapter books because I don't read very fast. But... Uh, although I'm getting faster as I read more. This book I read over the summer. I love Jason Reynolds and I'll read anything he writes. You guys, he is an amazing, amazing author. And this one says number one, so I'm assuming it's going to be a series, so I'm super excited, but look. And he wrote this with somebody else, but tons of illustrations throughout the book. I love the font that they use. Um, he wrote it with somebody else. Uh, the drawings are by Raul the Third. Anyway, uh, if you are looking for a, an illustrated novel so that you can bump your reading up just a little bit, I'm going to be putting a bunch of these over on the um, Book Talk Tuesday cart. Bad Kitty has illustrations throughout, lots of illustrations. I mean, Bad Kitty, this is I mean, very borderline graphic novel. Um, we have the Treehouse series. If you haven't read the Treehouse series, like imagine a cool treehouse and then like times 5,000, you know, that they just get better in every book. So lots of illustrations, but also a little bit more, a little bit longer than these graphic novels. You're going to get a little bit more of the illustrations. I've been talking to y'all about Tweens Read that's coming up. These, uh, the author and illustrator of this book, they're actually married. And I um, learned about them at Tweens Read last in 2019 when we actually could go in person. And I love how they write together. The, the way that they incorporate the words with the pictures is just outstanding and it makes the book so much fun to read. Just the illustrator is incredibly creative about how she combines all that and I love it. Uh, Max Brailier has The Last Kids on Earth and the Galactic Hot Dog series so both of those have lots of illustrations. Uh, Gabby Garcia, this is a series about a girl that plays baseball, and this is her guidebook, and she's telling you, you know, how to, well, the problem in this book, I think this one, the first one is where she had to move and, and start over again with a whole new team, um, and that is really hard. If you've ever had to move and start all over again with school or with a, a baseball team or soccer team or anything. Okay, Mac B, Kid Spy, and The Terrible Two are both by Mac Barnett who is just a hilarious guy. He's just funny. So the books in our library that have this like light pink, light purplish color over the spine, these are all humor books. So you'll see this on all the Wimpy Kid books. You'll see it on all the Terrible Twos. Uh, this Mac B needs one because it is funny as well. He's funny. He's got illustrations. This one has color, like I think he uses three different colors in the book. So there's illustrations. Uh, both are series, so you might want to get into those. Uh, Chicken Squad, you may have seen at your elementary school. It's a little bit shorter, so if you're looking for a shorter book. And then there's always the James Patterson. So James Patterson has, uh, y'all, I don't even know how many books James Patterson has for middle school. Uh, he's got the, the middle school series, iFunny series, Treasure Hunters. Um, and then he, he writes books with Chris Grabenstein. He's got one with um, Kwame Alexander, The Becoming Muhammad Ali. I mean, he just has tons, and they have illustrations, and they are fun to read. Um, I, I highly recommend them. I highly recommend picking those up. So that gives you some options. Graphic novels are awesome, and I love them, and I could read one a day. Really, you could sit in here and read one while you're in here with your class. 
But when you are branching out and you need you know, to take some baby steps, there you go. There's your next step. So you guys have a great day. I hope you found something that you want to read. They'll be on the Book Talk Tuesday cart or ask me. If you don't go to Wilkerson, ask your librarian. Have a great day and go read lots of books.